Daf Yomi, Tractate Bava Kama, page 111a, top of the page, with the words, Demenach Nicha Le Bechol Dehu. That it is, it is satisfactory, satisfactory for her to have any kind of marital arrangement, and even had she taken into consideration the possibility of entering a leveret bond with this Yavam, who was afflicted with boils, she still would have accepted betrothal to her husband. This is in accordance with the statement of Reish Lakish. As Reish Lakish says that women have a saying, it is better to sit as two bodies, in other words, to be married, than to sit lonely like a widow. Metav tandu mil metav armalu. The Mishnah teaches, if the robber gave money to the priestly watch of Joyarib, and then gave the guilt offering to the priestly watch of Jediah, the following priestly watch to sacrifice on his behalf, he has fulfilled his obligation. By contrast, if he first gave the guilt offering to the priestly watch of Jairib, and then gave the money to the priestly watch of Jediah, if the guilt offering was ex- is extant, then members of the priestly watch of Jediah who received the money should sacrifice it. The Gemara quotes a Brita that records a dispute between Tanaim concerning this case. The sages taught in Tosefta 10.18, if the robber gave the guilt offering to the priestly watch of Joyarib, and then gave the money to the priestly watch of Jediah, they should return the money to be with the guilt offering. In other words, with the priestly watch of Jairib. They should ask the uh, Jediah priest to give back the uh, money so they can give it to Jairib. This is the statement of Rabbi Yehuda. And the rabbis say the opposite. They should return the guilt offering to be with the money. And the priestly watch of Jediah will sacrifice it. The Gemara asks, what are the circumstances of this dispute? If we say that he gave the guilt offering to the priestly watch of Joyarib during the priestly watch of Joyarib, and the money to the priestly watch of Jediah during the priestly watch of Jediah, then this one acquired that which belongs to it, and that one acquired that which belongs to it. Why would the court remove what was legally, what was given lawfully to the priestly watch? Rava said, what are we dealing here? Achab of Mayaskinan, what are we dealing with here? We are dealing with a case where he gave the guilt offering to the priestly watch of Jairib during the priestly watch of Jairib and the money to the priestly watch of Jediah during the priestly watch of Jairib. And the dispute is as follows. Behuda holds that since this is not the priestly watch of Jediah, we penalize Jediah. Therefore, the priestly watch of Jediah must return the money in their possession to be with the guilt offering held by the Joyarib watch. And the rabbis hold that the members of the priestly watch of Joyarib acted unlawfully when they accepted the guilt offering before the robber paid the money. Since the payment for the robbery must be given before the guilt offering can be offered. Therefore, we penalize them, and the guilt offering in their possession returns to be with the money held by the Jediah watch. It is taught in a bright on this topic, to Sefta 1018. Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi says, according to the statement, of Rabbi Yehuda, that if during the Joyarib watch the robber gave the guilt offering to the Joyarib watch and the money to the Joyarib watch, the money 
should return the money should return to the priestly watcher Jerib if the members of the priestly watcher Jerib went first and sacrificed the guilt offering before receiving the money from the priestly watcher Jediah, then the robber should go back and bring another guilt offering, and the members of the priestly watch of Jediah, who are already in possession of the money, should offer it. And those members of the priestly watch of Jerib acquired that offering that is in their possession. The sages say, for what purpose is that offering useful? It is a disqualified guilt offering, since it was sacrificed before the payment for the robbery was given and had to be entirely burned on the altar. Rava said the bright is referring to acquiring its hide, which the members of the priestly watch of Jerry keep. It is taught in Brighton that Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi says, according to the statement of Rabbi Yehuda, if the guilt offering is still extant, in other words, if the priestly watch of Joyarib did not already sacrifice it, then the priestly watch of Joyarib should return the guilt offering to be with the money, and the priestly watch of Jediah will sacrifice it. The Gemara questions this, but Rabbi Yehuda holds that they should return the money to be with the guilt offering. The Gemara explains with what are we dealing here. With the case where it happened that the priestly watcher jury exited at the close of their temple service and they did not demand the money from the priestly watch of Judiah. And this statement of Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi teaches us this. That by doing so, the members of the priestly watcher Jerry waived their rights to the money in favor of the priestly watcher Jediah. Consequently, they are required to give the guilt offering to the priestly watch of Jediah to sacrifice. It is taught in another bright that Rabbi Huda Nasi says, according to the statement of Rabbi Huda, if the guilt offering is still extant, in other words, if the priestly watch of Jerry did not already sacrifice it, the money must return to be with the guilt offering. The Gemara asks, isn't that obvious? This is what Rabbi Yehuda holds explicitly. What novelty did Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi teach? The Gemara explains with what we're dealing here. With the case where it happened that the priestly watch of these and of those, in other words, meaning both Jerry and Judiah, exited at the end of their temple service. And they did not demand of the other the item in possession of the other watch, lest you say that they waive their rights in favor of each other so that the money stays in the possession of Judiah watch, Rabbi Huda, the Judiah watch, Rabbi Huda Nasi teaches us that we say since the, the Judiah watch did not demand the guilt offering from, from the Jerry watch after the latter exited, let them go back to the first standard scenario, returning the money to Jerib to be with the guilt offering. The Mishnah teaches uh, the Mishnah teaches might have to do part two here. It's just getting long. The Mishnah teaches. Okay, we'll stop here.